Uh, the first piece I'm going to read tonight is called On the Passing of Jim Carroll. That which does not heal cuts in the other direction. And Jim, you crawled through that slit on uh, Christ's side only to be bled into a city of junk and art where you slept at the Chelsea Hotel or worked at the desk at the factory. The sick morning can finally relax its hand from your throat in this, the season of your passing. Now that your keyboard has grown silent, even the air weeps, not being able to taste your words, which were precise, somehow delicate, but no less savage. I know that you dance among those stars in a New York sky, hidden by the light so far below from 42nd Street, Astor Place, Alphabet City, or Chelsea. But now your words come down like rain in the pages of a novel not yet released or performances forgotten or your last show at the bottom line. But each, <clears throat> excuse me, but each mind that knew you or your art will turn back on themselves that you have passed from view like the last fruit fly in the early morning sunlight. And this next piece is untitled. Who are these faces that walk in the gray light of the city, along the equatorial lines of the grid? Who are these names who seep from this section uh, doors of SROs only to be pressed in still time, where old ghosts still sit at diner counters waiting with cups of coffee on stained napkins? You will not understand bloodthirsty cops from Long Island unraveled their flypaper to catch the natives <clears throat> the natives of the tenements under the wild moon only to be only to dump them into the psych wards of St. Luke's this is the uh, opera of the SROs last take of a city that has turned back on itself the final number before the lights go out on the crowd the shelters are open now your landlord sleeps with the souls of janitors, looking to wipe the building clean the uh, of the genius, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, of the genius of profitable ideas, plucking each one like rubies off the subway tracks as the strap hangers watch you fade into a blur as the city bus passes under the neon night where where rooms once used by locals are now full again with tourists. And I'm gonna do one more, this one is also uh, untitled. There is no Halloween parade in the wild night where you can hide from yourself in costumes made of those emotions which wash back on you like a sewage drain off Coney Island. There is no theater where every door leads to silent stages, where mute performers cast off the loveless winter in the seasons of their emotions. The gravity that pulls you under that stage where you dance with those who want, who want you the most, only to be denied with a flicker of your sneer. The affliction of your love is only for those who invite you to <clears throat> to invite you to rooms never meant for two, but only for a little while. This gravity is the only consistency that you will ever know. If you knew that your fall was only, only has, be, excuse me, if you knew that your fall has only begun after dancing on the head of a pin, would you still have swallowed those pills or lost yourself in the timeless moment of Asia? You should have known that the only bottom of that bottle is the sick mornings that come in reverberations and static as loud as unseen bees that nest behind your eyes, those fucking bees, and the noise which is burned into the mockery of the day and the trains that pass always head west. Thank you.